Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We'll be kicking things off today by answering questions that you've sent in to our Instagram stories. Starting with one of the most common questions. What is the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease? So dementia is a word used to describe symptoms such as memory loss and confusion, but it's not actually a condition in itself. Dementia is caused by physical diseases that affect the brain, such as Alzheimer's disease. Other diseases that cause dementia include vascular dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies, and frontotemporal dementia. Sometimes a person can have more than one disease causing their dementia, and this is called mixed dementia. Each disease that causes dementia has its own specific set of symptoms, but some symptoms, such as memory loss and thinking problems, can be common in lots of different types of dementia. Sometimes a doctor may diagnose someone as just having dementia, but this isn't as helpful as knowing the underlying disease that they've got. And this is because knowing the underlying disease means that the person can access tailored treatments, supports, and also take part in research projects if they wanted to. It also means that they can learn more about how the symptoms may affect them. Another question that we often receive is, my mum has dementia, does that mean that my risk is increased too? And when a loved one is diagnosed with dementia, it's understandable that people are worried about their own future risk. It's not unheard of to have multiple family members with dementia, because the diseases that cause it are so common. However, just because we have a family member with dementia, doesn't mean that we will definitely go on to develop it ourselves. 99 in 100 cases of dementia are caused by a mixture of factors that interact over our lifetime to cause the underlying disease. These factors include our lifestyle, our environment, our age, genetics, and health conditions. One in a hundred cases of dementia are caused by directly inherited genes that are faulty. These cases are very rare and the dementia usually occurs at a younger age. There's also a clear pattern of inheritance throughout each generation of a family. Is dementia more common in women? Two out of every three people diagnosed with dementia are women. And we often receive questions about why this may be. Evidence suggests there may be several reasons for this. The first is age, which is the biggest risk factor for dementia. The older you get, the more likely it is that dementia will develop. Women generally live longer than men, and so they're at an increased risk. Women may also have less access to educational and work opportunities. Our risk of dementia is linked to early life education and how much we put our brains to work throughout our lifetimes. Therefore, having less of this means dementia is more likely. The final reason may lie in differences between the male and female hormones. Women experience the menopause, during which levels of estrogen fall. And estrogen is involved in many different processes in the body, including memory formation. It may be the case that when estrogen levels fall, the brain may not be able to learn and create memories as well as it used to, and therefore increasing the risk of dementia. The link between sex, menopause and dementia risk is a complex one, and further research is still needed to uncover the relationship between them. I don't have a diagnosis, but can I still get involved in dementia research? There are lots of opportunities for willing volunteers to take part in dementia research, and we need more people to get involved. Taking part in research is not a way to get a diagnosis of dementia or a way to acknowledge any symptoms that you or a loved one may be having. If you do have concerns about symptoms, speaking to a GP is the first place that you should contact. But anybody over the age of 18 living in the UK can sign up to take part in vital dementia research studies, whether they have a diagnosis of dementia or not. People that are experiencing symptoms also don't need to wait to get a diagnosis to take part either. Research is the only way to understand more about diseases like Alzheimer's, to find more effective ways to diagnose it, prevent it, and work towards a cure. To find out more about taking part in dementia research and how you can play a role in helping scientists change the ending for people with dementia, visit the link in our description box to register your interest. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.